Hello budding tinkerers and innovators. Welcome to yet another video in the ATL Lab equipment video series. I am sure you are excited to learn about another new device that will help you tinker better and build interesting projects. We have learned about many of these sensors in the previous videos. In this video, we will look at the raindrop sensor. A raindrop sensor is a specialized electronic device designed to detect and quantify the amount of rainfall. It can help alert us or automate a system when rainy weather is detected. Let us understand why this sensor is important. Imagine a smart farm where irrigation stops automatically when it rains. Wow, wonderful, isn't it? Well, that is just one of many uses it has. It is widely used in weather monitoring, agriculture, and automation projects. It helps in windshield wiper automation. It switches on and adjusts the speed of wipers based on rain intensity, enhancing driver comfort. A raindrop sensor integrated with a sunroof system automatically detects rainfall and closes the sunroof to prevent water from entering the vehicle. It is used in weather stations for real-time rainfall data to aid in forecasting and climate research. It supports home automation. It closes windows or skylights when rain is detected, protecting interiors from water damage. It detects water leaks that may damage sensitive machinery or electrical systems. It can also trigger automated shutdowns to protect machinery. We can summarize the benefits of raindrop sensor. It helps in managing water resources, ensures safety, helps in following a sustainable lifestyle, and optimizes various processes across different applications. There are different types of raindrop sensors, capacitive, optical, photovoltaic, ultrasonic, resistive, piezoelectric, acoustic, and hygroscopic. The commonly used resistive sensor measures electrical resistance between two electrodes, where resistance decreases with increasing raindrops and vice versa. The raindrop sensor mainly consists of two parts, the rain detection sensor PCB and the signal processing module. This board also has a comparator OP amp on board that is responsible for converting the incoming analog signal from the photodiode to a digital signal. The sensitivity of the device can be adjusted with the potentiometer. The rain detection sensor module has four pins, the VCC, GND, A0 and D0. Here is how you connect the raindrop sensor to an Arduino board. Connect the VCC and ground pins of the sensor interfacing module to the 5 volts and ground pins on Arduino and connect the signal pins of the sensor interfacing module to one of the data pins on Arduino, say D2. Finally, connect the LED between pin D13 and the ground pin on the Arduino board. The PCB is made out of multiple exposed log conductive plates arranged in a grid format. When rain falls on top of the sensor, the resistivity of the conductive plates changes. And by measuring the changes in the resistance, we can determine the intensity of the rainfall. The more intense the rainfall, the lower the resistance. This simulation shows the voltage slowly drops from 5 volts to 0 volts when water droplets start falling from the top. Scan this QR code to download the Arduino sketch for the raindrop sensor and upload it to Arduino board. After powering on the Arduino board, you can see the LED lights are off when there are no water droplets. And it is up when you pour a few small droplets of water on the raindrop sensor's plate. Hope you learned something new today. Thank you for watching. Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments section.